Hello. So we're going to demonstrate here on uh, a good technique on how to pull blood from cat's jugular veins. So normally people stretch them over the table. I'll do this number. Which we're not going to really do because I don't want to make the cat angry. And see, like they that. just don't like it. So a better way is to lay them laterally very gently here and he's not going to grab the head he's just going to put his head his hand like that now um, he doesn't like the alcohol and another thing i don't do is squirt cats because sometimes at home they're reprimanded by squirting and that could set them off and um, another tip, I use 20 gauge needle because you're going to get a much, much better sample. And the sample will come very fast. So if your cat's reacting negatively, you got the blood already in a quick fashion. Um, now, um, another thing I want to show you guys is a, uh, a muzzle that uh, we've designed that works uh, super duper duper good. Oops. My glasses fell off. So uh, this is uh, just a cup. Cut the bottom out of it and make two holes, rubber band of some sort. Um, they don't react negatively to these muzzles. They can still see. They can still see. You can use it for small animals who are having respiratory difficulty. You gotta take radiographs. And um, fearful animals. And it just it just works so much better. Um, and then Again, on this position, uh, arm in front of the pelvis, so the legs don't scratch you. And it's, it's a very gentle um, way to do it, and cats tolerate it very, very well. All this over the table stuff is just, uh, it just doesn't work good. We need to uh, find another way, better ways, which Know, veterinary medicine is always evolving so let's evolve to this people please think about your cats they don't like all that other stuff so anyways that's going to conclude this and uh hope uh it's helpful to some of you guys mm.